Bill Billy. It was before, you know, of course, before Billy was born, and it was probably a year or two later when I had Billy. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. might have been but Billy might have turned out goofy then. Well, this was before the house burned down. This was before oh, we yeah. lived in the house. Before we had the house. Yeah, well, the house, you know, I don't know when it got, it, it got there uh, after we moved in, but then your grandmother was in real estate and she bought that house and had it pulled there in, in two pieces. So How that's long did we stay in it? Six months. Yeah. Well, way before the house then. Mm-hmm. You were a little bitty boy, but yeah, old enough to talk. And what did he say? Because you were hurting? Bitty boy, help mommy. Because he heard me crying and asking for help. And being totally ignored. And... You know, it might have been when we still lived where your dad worked at the quarry. Oh. It was in Stockbridge, Stockbridge, Georgia. That's when you were a bitty boy and she was a little baby. You know, we she she was about six months old when we left there. So she was Okay. That makes more sense. Maybe she was in the crib. Yeah. Yeah, because by the time we moved to Panama City, you were mm, big enough to maybe have helped me, could have helped me. Yeah. Um, I would have been. So she was under six months old, which meant you were probably... Almost three. You don't remember it, David? No, I don't remember it. Oh, okay. You don't remember living, you remember when, you remember living in Stockbridge because you remember Laddie. Yeah, I remember uh, the place in front uh, that we drove around it was a big a, lake a big hole thing with a something in the bottom mechanical or pipes or something old, I remember and it was a stone quarry and it was called Stockbridge the town that we lived mm -hmm. in that we lived in that trailer but and I then so it wasn't Panama City, you were. I don't, I don't remember hardly any of that. Remember, we, we, you remember we leaving because you said, I remember Laddie and leaving him behind and feeling sad. Who's Laddie? It was just a stray collie dog that we made friends, came around there and we started making friends with it. We have a picture of me and David and Elizabeth with Laddie somewhere in all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And that was... Couldn't call it Lassie because it was a boy. It was a boy. It was a sweet dog. Of course, these collies are. And, and we felt bad. And Mary and George said, we, you know, we can't take it. We had to well, And we didn't find a home. It, did, it found us, so we just hoped it found somebody else. But, you know, I kind of... I didn't realize that David remembered, but we were... He was probably about two when we left there, because Elizabeth was six months old when we... No, we, she wasn't six months old when we left, because I have pictures of her and I have remembrance of her, because there was, when she was old enough to walk, and there was a little girl that lived across that big hole thing in a little house. They had like a beat up house. And... Uh, Thank you, Debbie. She was, her name was Nancy, and she loved Elizabeth. Elizabeth loved her, and Elizabeth called her Nanny. And so, so this happened sometime during that time, you know, before Elizabeth was. And I wasn't, I missed the first part of it. How, what did you just get, did you know that you were pregnant? Or? I, I guess not, and then I went to the doctor. Well, what happened? You just started getting cramps at night or in the morning? It was like in the night and I started getting cramps and hurting and crying. And then after that happened, I went to the doctor. I don't think I, I was far enough along to know I was pregnant yet. And uh, 
Maybe. That happened in Texas now, you'd go to prison. You sure will. Well, it wasn't a baby, but then I couldn't have proved it. But he probably... You'd have to just not say anything oh, to anybody Texas, ever yeah. in Texas now. Well, we've that, you know, we've uh, got assholes abortions for legislators. Were Ill abortions were illegal then. No. Yeah, I think it was illegal everywhere then. The, uh, uh, Roe versus Wade hadn't been passed until 60... Well, no, in the 70s, 72. 72. And now I've gone no, back to legal in some places and not in others. Just like it's fixing to be now. Yeah, I mean, then I would, <laughs> if that happened to somebody now, they probably wouldn't even go to the doctor and yeah. tell them. That's what's wrong with it all. That's what's wrong with it all, because there's complications, shit happens, shit happens, just like you said. Bunch of Bible thumpers coming and getting all in your personal business. Extreme personal business. Mm -hmm. They're talking about... Um, well, we, what we were seeing on the news, maybe it was just Debbie and me watching it, but about the turban, was it you too? We were watching, uh, something's come up about how um, those like 12 or 13 kids that were mistreated, oh, chained yeah, to the bed and all that stuff, and, and it's something's come up to light now those kids that were passed on to foster parents have reported now, several years later, that they were mistreated, uh, abused, and some and, sexually uh, Why abused. are you waiting so many years to say you're abused? Because you're a little you're, kid, you're and you little don't... Kid, you got, and now that they're no, grown, sorry. they're reporting it. Uh, when you're a child, you don't understand. You think that's... And you're ashamed? You think it's your fault. It's Trust me, I've been abused. And, so, and it didn't occur to me... That what was that it was wrong, or if it was wrong, it was my fault because I was bad. That's how children think. They don't know when it's someone you trust and care, you know, that you look yeah. up to, that you need for your survival, or you're supposed to love, and, and it's they, your daddy or these, your these caregiver, kids. and they abuse you. The, you just don't think that they're wrong. No, you, they're the adults. Yeah. Yep, they're yeah. the adults, oh, yeah. and they're like your superhero. And then when you do get older, you start to realize, oh yeah. That's why Maybe. It's reported late. <laughs> That's why it's reported late. And sometimes never. Sometimes never. Probably more times never. But they were talking about that on the news, and I said to David, yeah, and now they're banning abortions. You know, which means... More kids will kids be born and, and put into, into foster into care. Abusive, into, yep. into abusive and, and situations. To be abusive. Or possibly... Criminals. They did a study. This is a strange study that they did that was um, done on before the Roe versus Wade, like the amount of people that were born. Okay, after when after the Roe versus Wade, they showed that the age span. Okay, that when people became criminals was generally at a certain age. So there were, you know, for whatever reason, it was demographics, so, different things. So they, the, they, like at the time. No, not so much the brains had developed, but okay, that when there was no abortions, there were more crime, and they were predicting there was going to be a high crime rate, like in, say, New York City, based on the age of the children that would be born, and then when these criminals or whatever life situation, it, it was just looking at, and the weirdest thing happened is it didn't happen. There was not the wave of criminality that they thought, and they figured out what it was. It coincided with when women were able to get abortions in the Roe versus Wade because there was supposed to be a real high crime rate, but it was not. It was like an anomaly, and the only thing they could figure was women that would have had children that were more likely to become criminals simply didn't have those children were never born. So that in itself okay. tells you that Let's watch another, another years, year, there'll be 15 to yeah, 18 years. Somehow the Democrats get a chance to squelch it. And that's the only way. It's, it's only going to be if the, because there's not enough 
uh, Republicans in Congress that are going to agree to that. But it is too personal. I think it's too much government reach into the personal lives. And like David said, shit happens. We need to make have autonomy on our bodies. It's our bodies. It, it shouldn't, shouldn't be, be men in government or anyone, men or women. No one should. Should, raise it. should have it's, it. It's six weeks in Texas. And you that's hardly women. A woman might not even know she's pregnant. I was probably over six weeks they along should, with that. They should raise it to twelve, because by then, you know that they're going to be a sassy, ungrateful, steal money out your purse. <laughs> David. Or maybe 35, unemployed, living at your house, playing video games all day. David. 